Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Saint Gotthard. So in the last episode we found the entrance to the Saborens temple inside the Udaf mountain, and this temple building here actually reminds me of that one a real life structure that we saw in the last act of Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. I don't, I don't remember what its name was, but yeah, that's what this reminds me of. And Nikola is not with us because he rushed in to find Victoria, obviously. So yeah, without further ado, let's move on. So there is four ways uh, w w where we can go to. We can go here, there, here, or here. And I'm thinking that let's <laughs> let, let's go let's go here, obviously. Let's go to the temple itself. I mean, it's glowing inside. So of course we're gonna of course we're gonna go there. This must be the temple of truth. Or the ritual. No, please. No more. Victoria. That's Victoria. Please. <laughs> God, is that really her? I don't know. If you if if you don't know, then no one does. Well, maybe Nikolai does. But anyway, are those skulls? Ah, oh, yeah, these are skulls. I thought they were scrolls for a moment, but no, they are skulls. Okay, let's talk to Victoria. Victoria? Kill me, please. <sighs> Calm down. It's me, Benedict. Brother? Oh my... What the fuck? Did they flay off her... Did they flay off her face? So that's what she looks like, but... Either she... Either her face is covered in blood, or her face has been literally uh, skinned off. She's a living corpse. Uh, she's a living corpse. She has no face, no ears. Alright, so her face was uh, skinned off, literally. Maybe they made a mask out of her fa mask out of her face. Should we give her the yellow mask that Nikolai has? <laughs> Maybe that yellow mask is made of. Victoria's face. No, that's gruesome. Anyway. What's left of my sister? All I see is the shell of a human being. Benedict? Where's that monster? I... I don't... Oh, there's Nikolai. Is he carrying something? It sure looks like it, but I don't see anything. Maybe it's a bug. Where have you been? We must get- No! I had to find it. Find what? Okay, I think he was carrying something or even someone, but the, uh, but the, but there's a visual bug or glitch and, and, and so we couldn't see anything. You had to find what? You had to find what? The body. Jadwiga? You found her body. Where is it? <laughs> She's standing right next to me. You had nothing in your hands, and nothing ah. is standing next to you. What is wrong with you? Oh, okay, I see now. Only I can see my mother. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, <laughs> I get it now. Uh, we couldn't see what he was carrying, because he's carrying the Sekhra book. And thus only he can see that... Only he can see what he... Only he can see so certain things that, that you see with the Sekhra book. But because we don't have the book, we couldn't see it. Okay, and here, and here, and here, I was thinking that that there was a bug. Yeah. Okay, so he was carrying something, but we couldn't see it. Gotcha. You always seem to disappear when it gets dangerous. <laughs> There's nothing funny about it. It's your ignorance that makes me laugh. You don't know what it's like to be in this agony. Agony, you say? Look what that monster did to my sister, the wife you've been longing to find. It's him. Who? Listen to me. My mother will get us out of here. Just calm down and everything will be fine. Your mother is long dead. It must be that you're seeing the spirit of Yadviga. No. No, no, and no! 
How many times have I told you to get rid of that book? Sakura stays with me. I need it. Yatviga is part of the book. She's eating your soul. She's my mother. You can't see her because you're living a lie, separated from reality. It's him! Nikolai is the monster! Wait, what? The book has nothing to do with her. She came back into my life after I ended Nermans. <laughs> All thanks to my wife, who is both a blessing and a curse to me. You killed Nermin? When? Yeah, when did you do that? This is all your sister's fault. And you, you did this to me. You made my life a nightmare. What are you talking about? I had to do it. I had to kill Nermin. He was about to kill Victoria in that house. She should have never brought us to Spetikota. Not followed her father's letter. If only she did not care about her fool of a brother. Things would have been different then. I would still have my family. My baby. My baby and my wife. And I wouldn't have this thing growing inside me. This monster mutates me into something inhuman. Well, shit. So he killed Nermin earlier. Was it back at the uh, house that we rented? Hmm. Well, maybe we get some more answers as we move on. You're the monster we have been looking for this whole time. You are the monster we've been looking for this whole time? I am not the monster. The monster lives inside my body. You need to calm down now, we can help you. Look at your wife. You need to calm down now. We can help you. God can help you get on the right path. We have an exorcist among our ranks in the monastery. You just have to resist until we get back home. Ha! <laughs> Only my mother can help me. Look at your wife. If you had the courage to kill Nerman for her, then you must find the strength to subjugate his spirit and take control of him. You can do it. You must do it for Victoria. From the day I was born, they said I was a sin. God's degenerate. No one stood up for me. No one. And no God listened to my prayers. No one, except for my mother. She protected me, she guided me, and she made sure to silence those vile voices at the orphanage. In this tragedy, she comes back to me. And now I should listen to you? A man who cares only of what God has to say to him? Why listen to a spawn of the murderous day Inani bloodline? Wait, this... This is not who you are, brother. Forces of evil are manipulating your thoughts. Oh shit, is he gonna stab us? I listen only to my mother. If I kill you, and Victoria, I will be rid of the monster inside. I will be free. And I will have my family back. My mother and my baby. Who will be raised from the dead. You killed our baby. You dragged me here. You tore my face off. And you made me listen to the maddening voices from below. You did that, not the demon. It was you, monster. I am not guilty for what has happened. It's you. And, and you should blame your brother. No, Nikolai, wait. What did you think? That I was following your orders because you're smart, capable, and so thoughtful of others? Huh. Nikolai, we are family. Look at your sister. I said, look at her. This is on you. 
You did that to her. Not me! Now look me in the eye and tell me you are guilty for everything! Words cannot describe how devastated I am for Victoria and for the deaths of all these people. But God is witness to your evil deeds. Well, holy shit, this, es this escalated very quickly. Nikolai has completely lost it. He, or he's been, uh, I guess you could almost say, mind controlled by, by what, what was it, the monster? Was it the Yat Yatwika's wicked spirit? Anyway, you killed the mayor of mayor mayor of Sveti Kotar. Most likely when, when uh, when Bened Benedict was sleeping at the start of the game. Hmm. Yeah, I, I guess we can say all of this. You killed the mayor of Sveti Kotar. My hands did, not my soul. It was Nerman who wanted him dead. Okay, so Nermin was somehow controlling him? Lucia, that poor lady. You slaughtered her like an animal, and made me believe it was Nermin who came to the house. She had to go. She saw the crow from my nightmare in me. The spirit of Nermin. You killed Henry, too. He was about to die anyway, and he wanted to take Sakfra from me. Okay, I'm a bit confused here, because when we, the last time we saw Lucia alive, we were with Nikolai, and Nikolai was like, okay, wait, wait, what's going on, who is coming, and, and, and all that stuff. So, did Nikolai just straight out kill Lu Lucia right after it, the scene faded to black, and we moved on to Benedek? So, one moment he's like, I don't know what's happening, who is coming, and then he just kills Lucia. Uh, randomly. Is that what happened? Uh, I suppose so. I'm, I'm a bit <laughs> a bit confused. And who killed the orphans? And who killed the orphans? I had enough of listening to them and seeing how mean they were toward that poor child. So I silenced them once and for all. Uh, I see. They had to die? They were the only children left in this town. No one's left to miss them. You committed the same sin of the witch nun from Minsk, your mother. Well, shit. Okay, so that's why... So he also killed the orphans. Yeah, alright. But when did he have the time to do that? I mean, he was with us. Uh, he was with Benetek. Before we... Oh, wait. How did it go again? Where was Nikolai? Um... When we went, when we when we came back to the uh, the church, right uh, right after the children were slaughtered, we were with Mostov as Benedek, and Nikolai had come back from the Udav mountain while dragging he uh, Father Henry with him. Where did he have the time to kill the children? I don't know. What did you lie about not knowing where, where Victoria was? Maybe Nikolai himself didn't know where Victoria was, but the Nermin spirit or whatever inside of him knew. I don't know. Why did you lie about not knowing where Victoria was? <laughs> you mindless, godly man. You could have killed us anywhere you wanted. In Budapest or, or the moment we stepped inside that house. Nermin knew how to get here, not me. That is why I needed you. To find the way, so that we could be here together, as a family. Why drag us to this temple? I follow the words of my mother. It is where the ritual must take place. I recall Vera telling me Nerman requires pray for the ritual. I was so blind, stupid. I want you to ask yourself, how are our deaths going to help you? Think about all the sins you've committed. Put that knife away and think about it. It's not too late. If you kill us now, you will become that same monster you are trying to destroy. No! Tifa Leba Kassag. 
Hadziris Simartle Tivit Gadasasvleli. Nikolai, Yadviga is using you to fulfill Kasag's prophecy. You need to stop this. The demon. Mfare Kortsi Ahrisat Twit Mfare Kortsi Ahrisat Twit. Nikolai, you are just being used for a vile cause. Listen to my voice. Bow before me. I am to become the king of the Saborans. I'm afraid this man is beyond salvation. I should act. God forgive me. What are you gonna do? Try talking to Nikolai one last time. Run into Nikolai and push him uh, on the on the ground. Use the death whistle. Ah, we haven't used the death whistle even once. Well, let's try and talk to him one more time. Nikolai, you are right. It's all my fault. Your fault? You were infected by that evil spirit because of me. I have brought only death upon us and this town. Um. You were infected by that evil spirit because of me. I had to kill the evil man to protect your sister. I've brought only death upon us and this town. Yes, you did. You are at the source of this tragedy. I've chosen to live a life in solitude with God. You neglected your family. It was a sin, and I want to change. You still can. It is not too late for both of us. Help me to change, and I'll help you back. <laughs> How would you help? That monster inside of you can be defeated, and I know where your baby is. Wait, what? My baby? It's a girl. Where is she? Detective Mostov is taking care of her. Really? She's well fed and healthy. Oh, my baby. I think we are bullshitting Come on, Nikolai. Nikolai now. Let's take Victoria out of here and- My baby girl! My baby is alive. <laughs> I'm not a degenerate. You are trying to deceive me. Yeah, I thought so too. Slaves of Kasag! Oh shit. No! no! Benedict! I believe in God. I am the king of Saborans! God is my shepherd. I lack nothing. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I fear no evil. For you are with me. Tivaleba Kasag, Tvit Gadasos Valley. Tivaleba Kasag, Tvare Kortsir Kortvit. Kasag Nazashiat Kar. Russia has Matan Bal Belzis. Ashreo. Utolak Sirkur Ahrizat. Utolak Sirkur Ahrizat. Ah, uh, okay. I guess that was the wrong option to try and talk to him. Now what? Was is that just game over? Yeah, it's just game over. Okay, that was the wrong uh, option. Wrong option if you wanted to get out of that. Get out of that alive. All right. Well, let's go back and I'll see you in a bit. Or actually, should we go and check these other places? Let's see. Might as well. It's pitch black inside. I should find a source of light before venturing forth. Hmm, okay. We don't have anything like that, no. How about up here? 
Fallen boulders blocking the stairs. It's impassable. I can't even see where they lead to. Hmm, alright. Well, how about here? Or is that also too dark? The floor inside is full of holes, just like in the catacombs below the house. It might be the tribe's graveyard, but I'd need a source of light to find the body I'm looking for. Hmm, alright. So we can't go to these two uh, structures yet. We need a source of light. Alright, alright. Now I'm gonna go and and get to that same point where we made, where we made that fateful choice. Alright, we are back here. So, so we should not try and talk to Nikolai one last time. Run into Nikolai and push him on the ground. That sounds very risky as well, considering that he has a knife. Use the deft whistle. Uh, you know what? Let's see. Let's see what's going to happen. I bet that I bet that Nikolai will just kill Benedict. But let's see what happens. Now, push him into the hole. Now. Ah, oh, we're gonna push him into the hole. Push Nikolai into the hole. Try to get a hold of Nikolai's knife. Yeah, let's try to get the knife. I will kill you with my bare hands! No! Push him! Alright, alright, let's push him. If we can. <laughs> it's over. Hmm, you did it, Benedict. It's over, my sister. I didn't know. I didn't know he had it in him. I can see the knife on the floor. Kasag is with me. Mother is with me. No, oh, he's still alive. Dear God, he's holding on the root. Take the knife from the floor. Cut it. Let him rot in Ahrizat. No. Yeah. Okay, my thought exactly. Let's do that. <laughs> God, no! What? What? <laughs> You'll never do it. What are you waiting for? Cut the root! Ah oh, yes, because thou shalt not kill. I'm holding your body, your soul, your everything! He... he has my Bible! Oh shit. He must have taken it from me in the struggle! Let me climb up, and I'll give it back to you! I promise! Benedict, cut the root! Do not listen to him! It's just a book! I mean, of course we are gonna cut the root, but at the same time I'm kinda curious to see what's going to happen if we let Nikolai climb up. I'm very curious, uh, but let's just cut the root. God will understand. You won't dare! I will eat you alive! No, mother, mother, save me! <laughs> So that was that. Now what? We just go back to town. <laughs> Victoria. I can finally let it go. You are not going anywhere. We'll find a way out of here. And you'll be taken care of. You're... bleeding. It's nothing. Don't think about me. <sighs> My brother is finally back. I... I am so sorry. 
for everything you've been through. It's my fault. I've been wrong and blind, Victoria. I should have been there for you. Forgive me. Shh. The question our father always asked. What is true faith? Yes. Well, I think you finally know the answer. Why did he lay down on the ground? I guess he was too exhausted. <sighs> oh, Benedict. I've been longing for this moment for far too long. Wait, what? Who are you? Don't you recognize me? He said Victoria as a child. Victoria? And who else would I be? What are you doing here? I'm your sister. I live here. This is our house, you silly. Are we dead? Am I dead? Dead? You have more life in you than ever before. I'm not sure about that. I feel weak. The more you sleep, the more tired you feel. But don't you worry about a thing. It'll pass soon. Nah, uh, okay. The last thing I remember is being with you. Inside the mountain. The last thing I remember is being with you. Inside the mountain. What were we doing there? You were all grown up, without a face, and I think you died in the end. <laughs> You've always had a vivid imagination, brother. It was just a dream. Relax. But it was all so real. I don't think it was a dream. Me neither. <laughs> Come, you should get up now. Father and mother are waiting for us in the basement. What are they doing down there? She always detested that place. They just said they want to talk, but I know that is a lie. I heard them saying we should prepare for what's coming. And what would that be? A great evil. The witch? Or the moon ghouls. Come now, let's go meet them. Oh, I almost forgot. I placed something in your pockets that you might need for the basement. Hmm, the Bible? Matchbox, okay. Our portrait looks different once again. And we got nothing else besides the matchbox, okay. Is this face bleeding from the mouth? I recognize this woman. She is the mother of that man I pushed down into the passage. Wait, who? I recognize this woman. She is the mother of that man I pushed down into the passage. I don't know who that is. It's the tree from the forest. What was the name? Ah, the forest of Carcassa. Okay, has some more. Oh, okay, I guess we won't be looking at these faces. Balcony? It seems to be... I can't see anything outside. It's dazzling, strange. I would never say too much light could be a nuisance. Hmm. I guess it's dawn at the moment. Is this the crow man from my dream? Was it a dream? What was his name? Nikolai or... or Nermin. I think someone ate the eyes. It's the feathers that make these flying animals so beautiful. Its beak is full of blood and pieces of flesh. Apparently he sees this a man as a crow for some reason, just like Nikolai did. Here's our hero. Are you Detective Mostov? Oh, don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. You saved a lot of people. You really are a hero? My silly brother. Uh, how? The inhabitants raised their voices, broke free from their chains. Things are different now thanks to you. I saved you from the mountain and it was an honor. But you saved this town from falling into the abyss. I just rescued my sister. Sacrifice. That is what you did. You are a local saint now. A kind of Ivan Kotar, I'd say. Well, let damn. me tell you something. You saved me as well. Thanks to you, I now remember who attacked me. I did? I mean, who attacked you? It was Hatur. 
Now I don't have to fear. I don't live in a lie anymore. I know who I am and what I want. I have found my true faith. Go now. Don't let me hold you here. They're waiting for you down in the basement. Why is everyone waiting for me down in the basement? And is it just... Hmm. We don't have the Sekhra book with us. So I was, just, I was thinking that if we have that, then maybe that's why we are seeing Victoria. As a child. Should we look around some more? That's my sister. Stop looking at that painting. You know I hate it. I look like a corpse. Well, you look quite creepy yourself too right now with the black dress and that uh, what do you what do you call that? That cloth over your head. It looks like you're about to go to a funeral. Talk to Mostov some more. Still here? Go on, they're waiting for you down below. Okay, fine. Let's go. Don't be afraid of the dark and the witch. Just descend. I'll be waiting for you in the basement. I promise. I don't like where this is going. Please don't leave me alone. It's dark. The witch could be hiding in here. Don't you worry about nothing. You're not alone. Your sister is further below. There is a mass of flesh and blood above my head. Like I said, nothing to worry about. You've changed and now you see it. You're finally able to see the truth. Go on. Fear nothing. Hmm. Oh, all right. How many bodies are mashed in there? I feel strange about it. It does look horrifying, but I'm not repulsed by it. On the contrary, I find it soothing. Hmm, all right. So did we go here or down this well? Oh, okay. Down to the well. What the hell is happening here? Also, let's check out, check here. There's Troy, Yatvika and, and Sekfra. Father and mother are waiting in the basement. Where are Ar Anton's parents? Oh, okay. Where is everyone? Um, candles and Victoria, the adult one. Don't you need light to see me? Uh, all right, if you say so. It's one of the candles from my mother's room. The Eye of Providence is engraved on it. All right. Light it up. How about now? Victoria? Oh, shit. Yes, brother? Where's our father? Dead. Like me. What about mother? She's coming. Luckily for us, you forgot to destroy her body. Did I? I can't remember. Are you dead? Sister, are you? With you dead, I am alone again. You are not. Look around you. Who are they? Oh, crap. You don't recognize anyone. It's mother and the rest of the family. I see Hatur. Mother is very angry at you. You should have never left me alone in the basement. I know, but I saved you. A great evil has come. We should hurry up. Now, ah, okay, now what's going to happen? I hear voices upstairs. Great evil! They are not evil! Great evil was done to them! They are now free from the chains! Men and women who want revenge! Are you ready to join me in Ahmed's brother? Ah, oh, shit. You're not real. This is all my... This is all in my mind. You are not real. This is all in my mind. Sacrifice yourself for the prophecy and for the king. Become a slave to Kassar. I cannot be enslaved anymore. I found God in people. Alright. 
Oh, and the game just ends there. <laughs> okay. Okay, well... What can I say about that, en that ending? I didn't quite understand it. I didn't quite understand what was going on. I didn't know what was real and what wasn't. Why did we see Victoria as a small child there? It wasn't because of, it, it, it wasn't because of Sekra, or at least we didn't have, have it in our inventory. Why was Hatur there as well, even though we killed him? And what about um, what about the mother, the one in the black robes, who I think was supposed to be Yatvika? I guess we had the Sekra with, with us because we couldn't have seen her otherwise. I don't know. I don't know. But let's let's go back to the. Uh, game here, and let's select the other option, the mo most interesting option, which is using the death whistle and see what happens then. Okay, let's see what happens if we use the death whistle. If Lucia was right about this small skull... Oh, stop! Oh, please! Push him into the hole now! Mother! Save me! Now! Push him! It's over. It's over. My sister. <laughs> okay, so basically the same thing happened as last time. We just Kasag used the whistle. Kasag is with me! Mother is with me! Dear God, he's holding on the root! Take the knife from the floor, cut it! Let him rot in Ahrizat. Okay. I believe that it, I believe that, it, that that if I do the same thing here and just cut the root, the ending will be the same. That's just my assumption, even though we use the death whistle. So let's see what happens if we don't cut the root. God, no! What? <laughs> You'll never do it! What are you waiting for? Cut the root! I'm holding your body! Your soul! Your everything! He... he has my Bible! He must have taken it from me in the struggle! Let me climb up, and I'll give it back to you! I promise! Benedict, cut the root! Do not listen to him! It's just a book! But I want to see how this ends, so... Let, let Nikolai climb up. I'm sorry, my dear sister. Cut it! Don't let that monster- I'd rather die with God, sinless, than live an empty life ridden of my faith! <laughs> okay, is Nikolai gonna kill Benedek? <laughs> Give me my knife back! I knew you would never abandon God. You're too weak. A pathetic, insignificant man. Slaves of Kasag! Yeah, me kills him. No! Benedek! I... Believe in God. I am the king of Saborans. God is my shepherd. Yeah, okay, Even so the ending is the same. I fear. Yeah. Yeah, we get it. Alright. Should I try this again? I use a deft whistle and not. Uh, or rather. Oh, I mean. I cut the root. Nah, I don't think so. I think like I think I think we we would get the same ending as we did uh, earlier with with the young with the young uh, Victoria and then 
and 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 then and then perf perform that ritual in the basement with all these abhorrence, Hatur and ma our mother uh, surrounding us. I think we're gonna same get the same ending if we try it, if it if we try to do it like that. But anyway, so that was Saint Cotard, ladies and gentlemen, and um, I am going to make my thoughts on video of this in the near future. So you're going to hear my deeper thoughts on that. But uh, right now, um, I'm a bit confused about the story of this game. And also, they they kept talking about the king in yellow, and and I was really excited and I was really excited about, excited about that. But apparently, he he didn't play as big of a role as I was kind of hoping. So it's a bit disappointing in that way. And what else? And also, I would say that right away that the puzzles of this game, if you can even call them puzzles, are the weakest link of this game. Because when I try to when I try to when I try to uh, think of a puzzle that stuck out in any way, like whether like whether it was well designed, clever, or multi multi layered, or maybe it, or maybe it's just weird, or uh, or or used moon logic, or was just badly designed, or something like that. When I try to think of a puzzle like that, I cannot think of anything. <clears throat> I can't think of anything. Oh hey, that guy, Philip Ratchunek, uh, looks like Hatur. <laughs> Maybe Hatur was modeled, af modeled after him. So these are the, de are the developers and some of the voice actors, I believe. Hmm, her fa face, is not, face is not shown here. And these must be the Kickstarter backers. Let's see if we can... Oh yeah, there's my name. There's my name over there. I'm not gonna show it which one it is, but that there's my name. It's always cool to see your own name in the credits. But yeah, anyway, back to the puzzles. So there weren't any puzzles that really stuck out to me in any way, shape, or form because I didn't, I didn't, I never even needed to think about any of the puzzles. That hey, how how, how am I going to solve this one, or where can, where can I find the item that fits that fits here, or that I have to give to this one person? Where can I find that item? And I never got stuck because of that. Every single time when I when I need, need, needed an item for something or someone, I was always carrying it with me uh, already because I just picked up. Because as as I was exploring the sweaty Kotar town, I always found the items that I needed in the future conveniently. You could even say that that the puzzles, if you can again if, even call them puzzles, were way way too conveniently designed in a way that every time when you when you when you needed an, when you needed an item in uh, for something, you always had it with you already every single time. So it was too convenient in that sense. So yeah, I would say that the puzzles are the weakest link of this game. Yeah, what else? Well, the story was that was a little hard to follow, at least for me. Maybe you smarter people out there knew exactly what knew exactly what was going on in the story here. But there were so, so many elements here. The Saborans, uh, slash Moon Ghouls, the King in Yellow, who didn't play that mu that big of a role, the whole business with God, and uh, and yeah, there were so many elements in the in, in the story here that, that 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 it was for me anyway a little hard to follow. But I am but I am going to, but anyway, I'm going to make uh, my thoughts on video of this game in the near future. So I'm gonna give my deeper thoughts on that. But those are my immediate thoughts after finishing this game. Oh, and I also I like the voice acting in this game a lot. The voice actors of Benedek and Nikolai, especially, and especially Nikolai, were uh, did excellent job. The Nikolai's performance was perhaps the most uh, emotional. You could really feel the raw emotion coming coming out from his voice, and that that was great. That was awesome. And Benedek's voice actor was also great. The others were uh, okay, not terrible, but okay at best. I also liked the atmosphere of this game. It had this constant feeling of dread, and it was also almost dreamlike due to the mist. And I have told you this already in the past episodes, but one thing that bothered me about this game was that how many times the screen just faded to black when anything uh, ha was happening, really. I mean, that happens in if not all, then most adventure games in one shape or form. But in Saint Cotard, the screen was fading to black way, way too many times to my liking. It was so noticeable. It's almost like the developers didn't have much of a budget to make uh, unique 
uh, character animations uh, for these characters or cutscenes for the game, so that's why they had to fade the screen to black that many times. But yeah, I'm gonna end this episode here and thus this let's play as well. And again, I will make my thoughts on video of this game in the near future, so stay tuned for that. So, thank you for watching my blind let's play of Saint Cotard, and see you next time in a new adventure. <laughs>